Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, I have a bit of a confession to make. I've been doing some testing behind your back. Yes, I've been doing some experiments. Uh, they're out there somewhere. Uh, we'll get into that eventually. Uh, I just want to say a big, big, big thanks to Harbinger for uh, mentioning the artificial mass with the gravity blocks. See, that was the, the missing piece of the puzzle. And uh, I've been doing some thinking. I got some ideas. And I've got a fun one I want to try today. Uh, it was an idea originally I was trying to work with. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to do stuff with the gravity generators, but I haven't been able to really get them to work the way I wanted them to. And that's because I was missing the artificial mass. Let's get a little bigger one here. Let's get closer. Uh, yes, this is something I did not know about. And this is going to make things very interesting. And I've already got a few ideas of what I want to do with these things. But today, I want to do something fun. Uh, my One of my original ideas was to make a hovercraft using the gravity generators to basically push against the ground. But I didn't know that that's how they work. So I started thinking about it, and I, I got an idea that I want to do. And it's something fun I want to do for the server, too. Uh, as you can see, i got a beacon over there. Uh, basically, what I want to do is I want to do, like, a... Uh, a uh, hover car sort of demolition derby type track and I'm thinking to do like something around uh, you know it's sort of like a figure eight and have two gravity generators they have a range of 150 meters so I was thinking about going possibly that way because you know when you go and build a small cards I wouldn't exactly say it's small right you look at the size of the blocks here 500 meters really isn't all that far now that you think about it, when you stop to really think about it so we've got to have room to fl uh, drive around fly around hover around whatever you want to call it so I'm thinking I'm starting to realize maybe 500 meters is pretty big because I basically have to build a floor that's going to be the size of this so let's where was that mound I was on over here. This is where I was actually going to start it. So I basically want to have that right behind me, which I think is roughly around here. I could be wrong. Uh, make sure we're gravity aligned. Okay, uh, do a quick rotate. Okay, we're good. Go to large grid. Okay, so it wasn't the planet, it was me. And how is this going to turn out then? Okay, that's, uh, yeah, because I want to basically go on a diagonal from here. Hey, let me get this. Well, you know what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to build a platform, probably 300 years. You know what, let's just do it this way. Since the game wants to be difficult, okay, that works right there. Okay, and then uh, once I get it started, I'm still on plane mode. Let's see if we can break the game here. Let's see if we build blocks I can build in one shot. Oh, it's starting to get laggy. Oh, slightly laggy. I guess that's all lets me play this at once. Alright, well that is fine, you know why? Because we go ahead and let's actually get that out of my hand. You know, control C. And we will just rotate it and place it there. And so on and so forth. So I'm going to build sort of like a figure eight track and I'll bring you back. Actually, you know what? Let's make this a little bit better of a color first before we start. Do like the gray, but it should be more like asphalt. There's going to be multiple cars. People can color the cars any way they want. And there's even going to be charging stations. Alright, so let's go ahead and was it control shift P? No. Control shift middle click. Let's see how many blocks you can paint at one time. Alright. That was actually pretty quick. Alright, well you get the idea, so let me continue on. Yeah, let's try that again. All right, give me a rotate. Thank you. That's better. So much easier. 
Oh, this is actually a good way to find out exactly how big these blocks are. I think they're about two and a half meters, but they could be three. So 250 blocks, or 250 meters at 100 blocks, yeah, so they're about two and a half meters. Okay, I'm not going right to the corner, because I want to have this rotated. And uh, yes, if you plan on downloading this for yourself off the workshop, uh, destructible blocks is advised to be turned off, unless you want to have to rebuild this thing constantly. But you get the idea, let me go ahead and get the, this round, and then we'll add the, install the gravity generators. Uh, I've been thinking about putting a couple of jumps in, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to put a slope in that corner. But anyways, I'll bring you back. Okay, so I have it all put in. Uh, what I've done too is in the corners I've actually put a angle on there. Because uh, the actual dimensions of this entire platform, let's go this side. It's about 350 meters, which is outside the range of the gravity generators. So if you can see, it's 350. So what I've done is I pulled it in 25 meters each side. So it's actually, it's about 195 meters in between the, the corners here. So that should give enough coverage because the, uh, the buggies, crafts, cars, whatever we're going to call them, uh, if they leave the gravity field, they'll die. They'll hit the ground and that'll be it. So now, what I have to do is I have to clear out these beacons, replace them, and try to get the gravity generators directly in the center if I can. And it shouldn't be too hard, so let me do that. Okay, that is done. So I got one in all six corners. Well, technically six, because this isn't technically a square. Oh, I forgot those ones. I'll get those in a second. So, let's see here. If I'm here and I have... 346, then I need 173, roughly. So I'm going to go here till I see about 173 on all three of these beacons. It's actually turn jetpack off, 173, 173. Close enough. Alright, so turn jetpack on, get a block out or uh, removal tool in this case and then I want to actually hide it underground just because so we'll go like that, we'll go like that and we'll place another one there and we'll place a gravity generator here and then I might do the same thing over here and yeah let me do this one off camera okay so I got that one in now we gotta get a power supply going just for those uh, something I want to try to do too is implement some sort of docking system for for the cars and I want to see first see how wide the gravity field is so I can figure out where I'm going to place them. Uh, so I need to get a, a reactor here, a uh, power block, take mm hmm Sure, I was thinking about possibly you know what, let's go with this, yeah, let's go with the big reactor. I was going to go with a small reactor, just to make it a little e cheaper for anybody to build in survival, but I don't think anybody's going to build this in survival. Alright, let's get that big boy up, and then uh, hit the right button, of course. Let's get up to that control panel. So what I need to do is take these two gravity generators, and I do have to have them on repulsor, but i got to have the height set. So it's two blocks down, six meters, possibly. Uh, the depth, i pretty sure it's underneath, but I'll change that anyways, just because. All right, so let's see what we have here. Not quite in the gravity yet, so I'll bring it up another meter or two. You know, I just want enough. Not a whole lot, just enough to lift things off the ground. Really? Hmm. I wonder if it's because I'm a meter tall. I don't know. Maybe I need to get a couple more of them in there. We'll find out in just a second. Here we'll go with nine and nine. 
And I do have them underground, I do realize that. Hop in the hole, see if it actually does anything. Okay, there's the gravity. Oh. Let's see where it kicks in. That's weird that it's staying so low. Still only 9 meters. So let's bring it up to 12. Wow. Oh. Trial and error, trial and error. And the reason why I'm trying to be so finicky about the gravity height is just to make sure everybody stays in place. It's almost like it has to be updated or something. There we go. a little off. Let's bring it up one more. Let's go up to lucky 13. Ow. Good thing I'm in survival or creative. Alright, so we'll go up to 13 with you. 13 with you. And can you actually... No, we can. I wasn't sure if that was possible or not. So if I go over here, does it like need an update or something? Is that why it's not responding right away? See so now registers. These things aren't spherical, are they? Well, let's give it another shot. Let's crank her up. Let's go up to 15 then. Yeah, it's weird that it's not triggering here. I wonder if it's got, got to do with the fact that it's underneath blocks. Let me figure this out. Okay, I figured it out. It was the field depth for some reason. I guess it, I guess it does somehow affect the radius. All right, so we'll go back to the east. We'll set the the field depth up to maximum on both of them. And in theory, a field height of one should be all I need. So let's go over here and see how the gravity situation is doing. Oh yeah underground I gotta change it up to six or seven now okay let's do try six and see what happens might have to go a little bit more yeah You know, I want to try to keep it under a full block height. Uh, it might not be reading properly for me, but for artificial mass, it might. It's just a matter of finding that, that one little sweet spot. We'll do that. We'll try eight. I'm pretty sure I should be able to actually feel the gravity in here. And nine, which should be as high as these windows. I'm wondering if the floor really has an effect on it. You know, I've never really tested these things too much. Well, let's. No, not 112. Let's try 12. And I have a feeling that's the case.
Hmm. I've got the depth up in both of them. Yes, 150, 150. Alright, let's try lucky 13 again. I guess it does have to do with them being underground. So let me bring it back up and then we'll move on. Okay, well, despite what it says in that machine there, uh, these things only seem to have, have a, a range of about 100 meters. Uh, it's always going on an angle. Let's go on a vertical. So I'm going to go right until the gravity runs out, which should be right here. And... Yeah, so about 75 meters. But for some reason I was getting uh, 150 over there, so it's a 75 by 75. Or 75 meters squ out, square. It says width, it doesn't say radius. At least I don't think it says radius. Field width. Oh, okay. Width of the actual field, not from the gravity generator. I gotcha. So, then that means... Do over. So I'll rebuild this and I'll bring you back. Okay, I rebuilt it. I rebuilt it a little bit smaller. I did it out of slabs this time. That way, as you can see, there's this. And I set the height just enough so it's basically like a foot off the ground. Now, as you can see, there is a considerable over considerable considerable overlap. I'm sorry, I cannot speak today. Right about here, but it's it's not that big of a deal. Uh, yes, I do still have to reverse the gravity. So let's actually see what happens. Now, I'm hoping that that extra uh, boost in gravity should actually get the vehicles to jump a little higher. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I was going to reverse the gravity. That's what I'm going to do. And we'll go back the other way. And then probably have to do some fine-tuning just because... You know, so let's see what happens. So yeah, it's basically almost at floor level. So let's see what happens when we go over here. It's kind of hard to really see what's going to happen with the vehicles. So yeah, that is the whole thing set up. Uh, there is a slight, like a very minor dead zone right about here. It's like half a block, which isn't that big of a deal. This just means I have to redesign the craft a little bit differently. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Now, originally I was thinking about having docking stations for them, but the way the, the fields work, it might not work out too well. So we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to uh, build them with uh, reactors on. So let me get my hot bar ready. Okay. Let's see what we can come up with here. So we'll start with the landing gear. We'll start with the small grid landing gear. Bring that a little bit closer so, so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Uh, the landing gear is just for building purposes. All right, so we'll go ahead and let's put a couple. Let's uh, go back to the full blocks here. Okay, we'll do that and that. And we'll put a cockpit on top, which would be number five. Like so. Now, I want to use the small, the artificial mass, but I want to have them spaced out a little bit. And I want to have them spaced out, but I don't want to have them too far out. So I almost will consider putting them in these corners. But at the same time, too, I want this vehicle to be a little bit on the bigger side so it doesn't flip. So we could probably do something like that. And then for the back side, let's see how big this generator is, this reactor is. That's actually not bad. We'll put that in the front then. Uh, yeah, with conveyor up so we can actually access it. If anybody chooses to build us in survival, I highly doubt they will. Okay, and then, uh, yes, I'm going to be using ion thrusters, because ion thrusters should technically work on the moon. Uh, albeit not the greatest, but they should technically work. 
And we'll do that. And then we'll do that. And now for the thrust. Let's put... Oh, we're to put the artificial mass on, too. You know what? Let's actually try putting it right here, just because. All right, do that, and that, and then see on the other side. There, and there. Now I'm hoping that's going to be enough. And then all i got to do is just put some blocks on the outside, just to make sure we don't hit that dead zone. It's just basically a bumper. After all, it's going to be uh, a hover derby of sorts. Okay, yeah, I'm going right here. And I think what we might actually do is put this into a slope. Like that. And that's the wrong way. There we go. Sorry, sometimes you just can't see them. Sometimes that ghost is a little too much of a ghost. Okay, we go back to our block and just fill that in. And this should just basically all we need to do, just throw a couple of thrusters on here and we are good to go. And yes, basically bumper cars. All right, uh, center of mass should be roughly here. So what I want to do I figure we're going to put these thrusters. Uh, what it's going to be is it's going to be basically reverse steering. I'm almost wondering maybe you should just have one, one for the main thrust. Let's uh, do this. And then we'll do this. Now, I'm going to make this interesting. I'm going to make this sort of reverse steering so in order to steer you actually have to swing your back in so, so when you hit left uh, when you hit left this thruster is going to fire but it's going to spin the craft this way and since there's going to be no braking it's basically drifting and that really should do it so let's go ahead and take her down go onto the ground like that and we'll copy. And let's see what happens. That happened. It works, though. Highly unstable. I mean, he thinks it needs a gyroscope. Let's, uh... Get to the cockpit here if I can hit the right button and on the right thing at the right time. All right. It's a little wobbly. I think a gyroscope is in order. Definitely. Uh, let's. Oh, I rolled it. I rolled it. Hee hee hee. Alright, uh, let's actually get out of here. Get rid of this. Uh, control X, yes. And let's try to rebuild. Add a few things onto it. Where are you? There you are. Uh, gyroscope for one. Let's put a gyroscope down in here. Uh, let's put you on the back like so. Hmm. Now, is there something I can do to stop it from trying to correct itself? Uh, control thrusters. Aha, that might be it. Alright, let's try that. Copy that one and just give it another shot and see what happens. This time, I'm not going to be flying in when I place this. Yeah, you can stop bouncing any time now. It's adjusted gravity. Let's bring it down to... Let's 
7.2. Yeah, you're still bouncing. Let's actually bring that field down a little bit, maybe. We're at 8, let's go to 7. I guess we can go ahead with the gyroscope. Seems to work. Probably put a couple more thrusters on. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's me let me make one more modification to this thing, and I'll see if I can get it working a little bit better. Well, it is working. It bounces quite a bit, but I don't know. This thing is starting to get heavier and heavier. I could probably replace. I could probably replace these blocks with uh, slabs, try to cut the weight down, uh, maybe even remove a thruster. But so far it's working pretty good. It's definitely going to be a fun thing to do. Definitely got a learning curve. But you know what, it's all about drifting. It's going to be definitely difficult to do in first person. But so now, all that's really left to do just to hop onto the old Discord server, look for a couple of test subjects, or should I say friends that want to join me in this. I might, I might set up the track a little bit, and and we'll have a little bit of fun while we'll end the episode. So let me uh, hop on the Discord there and see who's available. Uh, if you do want to partake in projects like this, every once in a while I do plan on hopping onto this Discord and seeing if anybody wants to help out with the project or do some testing or whatever uh, f feel free to add me on on discord bcp underscore labs uh, hashtag 2135 it's also in the description and I will definitely invite you to the server so let me round up the, the regulars and I'll be right back all right I was able to find some test subjects on the server here and we are ready to get going so friends viewers this is Hover Derby. Uh, whoa! <laughs> uh. All right, this is basically Demolition Derby. Duh. Uh. Whoa, someone's freaky. a little upside there. This is a little freaky. Here I come, Javelin! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> and for the viewers at home, uh, just to let, well, actually, I should explain to everybody here what's going on. It's basically I'm using gravity generators to repel us. We have the, the four artificial masses in the corners of our ships, and that's what's doing it. The green spots are jump pads, or oh. suppo supposed to be. Wow. <laughs> this isn't working out the greatest, but. What are you talking? Excuse me. Oh, just got hit by a trade quarter. Javelin! <laughs> Give me that booty! Driving no. speed! <laughs> Driving speed! <laughs> I think I gotta turn the gravity up just a little bit. That's a derelict ship. I'm not going that way. Yeah, like I said, this is ended up being a little bit bigger of a track than I expected. But it's, it's so hard to control. Oh god, I can't slow you <laughs> No, you can't. It's like you're on ice. I was trying. Oh, oh, oh. And down. I'm out. <laughs> and BC's uh, done. Uh, Alright. I can't uh, stop. Uh, uh, go, hey, hey, go away. Go away. Find someone. No, please. No, no bully. No. Come in. No bully. <laughs> uh, I was, was going to try to get obstacles in here, too. Define Alvin. obstacles. Hey, tri Tricorder, how come you're not flying anymore? Oh, hey, hold on, hold on. Okay, now you're still going. Come here, Javelin. No, go away. No, come here. <laughs> no. What? Okay, out of all places, I back myself to a corner. Go away. <laughs> Ramming speed. No. I gotta get another one here. me like a man. Haha. <laughs> 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 
Okay, hold on. Definitely need more thrusters. Yeah, I'd well, say that's needed. Oh yeah, definitely. Just add a few oh. hydrogen thrusters. Why not? Yeah, but then you'd have I, to have a tank too, and. I second this motion. <laughs> no, because we're in creative mode, right? And we are in creative, but I also want to have this available in case somebody wants to build it in survival. Huh? So then that way you don't have this big giant tank attached to you. Plus, it is going to be going on our server, and, uh... Oh, no, I'm out. Bye! <laughs> I bounced too hard. <laughs> you were like the best death. friend of me. Come For some on, reason, I want to just name. disable my inertial dampener. <gasps> I know what I need. I know what this bumper car needs. Everyone knows I need flame decals and a spoiler. Actually, that does help BRB. a bit. Turn the dampeners off does help. Oh, hey, it gets cool. going a little bit faster. Yay! Needs more thrust, though. Gotta put a six pack of thrusters on the back, but I was trying to put more on it, but it was sort uh, of weighing down uh, the back end a little bit. Damn it! Physics, physics, no go away, no go away. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh God! No, I'm being double teamed. Help, SLS. Ramming speed. No. Who am I aiming for? Ramming. I put my ship face yeah. down in defense mode. Uh, Don't show him your ass. All right, there we go. Hover Derby. We've been playing this for like last half an hour here. Now just been having a great old time with this. It's pretty good. You know, it needs some fine tuning and some work. And, you know, of course, just about got nailed by Javelin. Oh, lights. But anyways, with that, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.